G'day guys, so welcome back to Hive City Hobby. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed our first battle report last week. We've received plenty of good feedback and looking forward to having some more fun today. Yeah, we had, we had a lot of fun playing that game, so um, hopefully this one will just be as much fun and you guys enjoy just as much. That's right, and today uh, we've got myself, Adam and Dan hosting again and playing another bat rap. That's it, we've got 2,000 points for you guys today. It's going to be quite a, um, an interesting game because you've got a brand new army to play with. I do, I do. The Imperial Knights are fresh out of the manufacturer. And they're taking on the Elder, or Eldari as I like to call them now. TM. TM, trademark. That's and right. um, yeah, look, I'm really keen to see what these guys do. Uh, they're looking very impressive and uh, intimidating on the field, um, but... You and, I've got, and I've got new dice this week as well, so uh, uh, here's to the dice guys. And I've got the same dice, if, for those who have seen last that, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm not looking forward to that, but I've got fresh dice, so hopefully my rolls aren't as disgusting yeah. today. Um, we're playing Chapter Approved Mission. They've been fantastic missions, the Chapter Approved Mission. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, we've had a lot of fun playing them. Um, yeah. They really, I suppose they really try and engage positive play. They do, they do. And um, they've just been great missions to kind of, yeah, to trial out, and we've been played nothing else since they've actually come out so we've yeah really like, we've had so much fun um and and i think that comes down to the progressive um style of scoring uh in those missions uh, and they really encourage you to displace units throughout the board and really use tactics and your stratagems to engage in some really positive play so having plenty of fun and uh we rolled up scorched earth scorched to earth. play today out of the eternal war section and our deployment will be dawn of war and nice and easy. Nice and easy. So coming up next, we'll talk about our lists and also the mission and what's involved in the mission. Okay, guys. So first, we've got Adam talking about his Imperial Knights. Uh, Two thousand points here. Talk us through the list. Well, I'll probably fuck something up because I've never used the army before. <laughs> so uh, I'll try and do this as best I can. Uh, leading the pack today, we've got my Knight Scion here, who's in the Paladin Knight Paladin mm -hmm. chassis. Uh, it's the standard sort of one, uh, however, uh, I've just got him sort of converted out of the hatch here. He's armed with the Rapid Fire Battle Cannon and uh, Reaper Chainsaw. That's actually a relic now, thanks to the update in Chapter Approved. So it gives him um, extra strength, as he's still got the Ren 3 and the 6 damage uh, as well. 6 damage straight, is it? 6 straight damage, and, and it means uh, he's strength 14 um, and he's wounded toughness 7. Uh, vehicles and monsters, which is huge on, on twos. Yeah, this addition is, is definitely huge as well because there's so many things at T7. Correct. Um, and have that rarity of actually having them high strength weapons to actually be able to wound on twos. Is yeah, awesome. and and and, and uh, to to stack on top of that as well, he's got the plus one attack from his uh, warlord trait too, which is great. So that's him in a nutshell, and he looks awesome. Thank you very much. Love him, little hatch dude. <laughs> uh, next up, we've got the Night Crusader. He's armed with the Gatling Cannon and Rapid Fire Battle Cannon. Uh, he's got the Heavy Flamer uh, on the Gatling Cannon and the Heavy Stubber on the Battle Cannon. And he's also armed with the um, the Twin Icarus Auto Cannon. And which one? For targeting units with the Flying uh, Ah, yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of like anti-air. Um, is that the one to hit gr air? ground units? It stuff? is. Yeah. It is, yeah. Um, so that's him. He's a little bit of a gun boat, so to speak. Um, Next up is the Knight Errant. He's also armed with the Reaper Chainsword and uh, the Heavy Stubber. He's got the Thermal Cannon, which has also received a little bit of an update. Now there's yep. 2D3 shots instead of D3. That's the Melter Gun profile, is it? It's essentially like a yep. big, massive Melter Cannon. Yeah. Uh, strength, uh, strength 9, oh, strength one, 4, D6 damage. Yep. Yeah, so it's pretty good. Um, and he's got the Icarus Storm Pod, um, I believe it's called. <laughs> Uh, on top there, which is the carapace weapon. Um, just having a look here. Storm Spear Rocket Pod. Okay. Excuse me. Storm Spear <laughs> Rocket Pod. And, and the last unit uh, in the army um, is from Forge World Index, and that's the Knight Archeron. Yeah. Um, he's got the humongous Archeron Flame Cannon, uh, which is a range, range 18 Super Flamer, uh, essentially. Those 2d6 shots. Uh, and strength seven, ren two, three damage wow. off the top of my head. Auto hits. Auto hits. Well, wow. auto hits. He's also armed with a twin heavy bolter, uh, as well as the chain fist in combat. He does suffer the minus one to hit with the chain fist, 
Um, however, it is completely, completely brutal um, in combat. Uh, he's because he's also on the taller night, sh um, night chassis. He gets uh, 14 inches movement instead of 12, Jeez. like the Cliscorus Knights here. So Very mobile. He is, yeah. yeah. The army, the army is surprisingly, surprisingly mobile. I think when you start to degrade the knights, they do start to slow down a lot. Their movement does get hindered. Um, so it'll probably just be about staying mobile and 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 trying to score some objectives this game in Scorched Earth. Yeah, I think in, just while looking at this list, I might have uh, taken a spoon to an eye fight, but we'll... Um, we'll see. You said the same thing last week. So we'll, we'll have to see, but look, it's uh, it's an impressive list, and it obviously looks amazing on the table as well. All up, it's 19.94 points. Okay. So so nearly there, nearly, nearly. nearly on 2K. So it's a good, yeah, good list all around, and um, I suppose we'll see what I'm bringing. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right, Eldar this time. Dan, talk us through it, mate. All right, today I am running a spearhead detachment. Beautiful. Um, I did get a cheeky heads up in terms of what uh, Adam here was bringing, so I thought I'm going to try and not so much tailor the list, but at least be competitive or semi-competitive. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> you, got, you got the heads up, so I think he must have, uh, he must have had some... Cabal informants That's in insane. the manufacturing <laughs> The insights, leak out some information. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so my warlord is the Farsia here. Yeah. Um, he is he's got the relic of Falchu's wing. Now that lets him move twelve inches and right. have the fly special rule. Nice. So it gives him a little bit more mobility, which is cool. Um, and it saves him taking a bike. Yep. Save a little bit of points there. Um, so yeah, a little bit more maneuverable, which is cool. Um, to try and I suppose help buff and protect different uh, different units throughout the army. I've also got a spirit seer here. Mm -hmm. um, uh, as a second, just a second HQ choice and some extra psychic back up there. Um, I've then got my elite choices, which I've got um, a five man unit of Wraith Guard, and they are armed with the D, uh, D cannons. Yeah. Um, and they're obviously huge damage output. I think it's strength 12, neck 4, D6 damage. Whew. So it's, it's probably one of my main units to try and to, you know show some wounds off one of those knights mm. uh, before they die. Um, I've also got the a fire dragon squad, six fire dragons, all with a fusion, essentially a fusion gun. Oh, this is this is <laughs> <laughs> very tailored. <laughs> I'll probably get one round of shooting, and then the 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 squash mate. <laughs> yeah. Big heads, fire dragons, and dark reapers. I uh, bring yep, bringing me to my next selection, which is uh my heavy <laughs> heavy support choices. Uh, I've got a nine man unit of dark reapers. Um, Obviously, these guys are meta central at the moment for any elder army. Um, yeah, they they are, they are pretty strong. Yeah, in the in the uh, ITC championship meta, they're very Definitely. very prevalent at the moment. Our, always hit on threes, no matter what. Um, you know, straight eight profile, neg two, straight three damage, which is as we talked about last bat rep as well. The having the the random damage mitigated. Yeah, it's yeah. it's it's priceless. All, all Eldar bias aside, are Dark Reapers overcosted right now? Now, I'd say, I think they're actually okay before Chapter Approved. That's what I'm saying. Oh, because they got cheaper. They got, they got cheaper in Chapter Approved. I thought they were okay when they first came out, because I knew how good they were. Yeah. So, I'm not going to full on fanboy it here and say, no, 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 they're perfectly cheap enough. Um, yeah, they are cheap, and they are probably that little bit too cheap at the moment, but I'm only bringing one unit, so I'm not spamming it. That's right. So, it's not like we're, we're only <laughs> 42 Dark Reapers. No, we don't do that. Today, it's just one filthy unit of nine. Nine, just nine. Um, we've also got a Fire Prism, um, and that's pretty much, it. I think it's two shots if you don't move, or move up to half your range, and that's another, just a single shot, high damage, uh, high damage potential against any kind of vehicles and armor. Mm -hmm. um, and, it, and I think it's the sickest elder looking <laughs> Out of all of them. Out um, of all the plastics, yeah. the fire prison kicks ass. Yeah. Uh, and then my third choice for my heavy support was just the, the humble wall walker. Ah, cheeky. Very humble. Just I reckon he's cheeky more than humble. <laughs> but we'll he, find out. he's cooks, he can essentially outflank. Yeah. Well, it's, it's more of like a deep because it is off any, I think it's from any like water edge. Yeah. Oh, okay, off any yeah. water edge, right, right. So, yeah, similar to an outflank. And then, um, yeah, so he's obviously more anti-tank because I'm going to need it. <laughs> Um, in fast support, or fast attack, sorry, I've got um, a unit of seven war spiders. Yeah. 
which are super quick. So this should help me in terms of playing the mission. Because if all else goes to shit and my heavy hitters die pretty quickly, I've at least got something to kind of move around the board and put pressure at, you know, Yeah, different, that's different right. Parts. They, yeah, they, their guns are good. Definitely. Their guns are good, yeah. Um, and I've also got a uh, Hemlock Wraithfighter. Is that the psychic one? Yes, it is. Okay. So he's running, um, what was it? What have I got? Uh, he's got Jinx. Cause he can only take, he's got Protect and Jinx, but with um, the Hemlock, you can only take the the second profile for the psychic power. Right. It's a special rule that they've got. Um, that will give you negative one to all saving throws, which is great because it obviously affects invuls. Yeah. So um, yeah. that's something to think about. <laughs> um, they've got the two two flamers doing D3 shots each. Mm -hmm. um, auto hits, strength 12, neg four, straight two damage. Right. Um, then I've got uh, Wave Serpent as a dedicated transport. Um, in order to help get one of these units up the board. Uh, and they're just tough. They're a great unit to have. Um, they've caused you many drums in the past. They have. They have. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of Waves. <laughs> so am I? <laughs> nah, definitely not your favourite list. Yeah. Um, and everyone's forgotten what a falcon looks like now. <laughs> yeah, what's that? Exactly. No, no what is a falcon? Yeah. Um, and last but not least, I've got the, the, big, wraith, boy. the big boy. Wraith Knight. Uh, kitted out with the go uh, Titanic Glo Ghost Glaive and the Scatter Shield and two Star Cannons. Um, I've played two games with him. Yeah. And I'm yet to see what he does because he's died. All pretty, right. Pretty quickly. Okay. okay. So Interesting. hopefully I at least get one round of combat in. I'd be happy with that because his Titanic Ghost Glaive is brutal. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's strength 12, neg four, six straight damage. Similar to the main yeah, side. Yeah, so very similar to that. Might have gotten that wrong, but around those kind of figures. Yeah. Um, so let's, yeah, hopefully I'll get to use him and um, see what he can do in combat. So it could be controversial if he actually does do something good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So without further ado, guys, let's uh, get on to the mission and deployment. All right, guys, the table is now set. And we're ready to roll to see who places an objective down first. Let's All right, go, go for it. Two. Two. Three. All right, I've got first objective placement. It's up to you, man. All right, let's see how you guys how it goes. Okay, so we've just set up our models. Uh, um, in terms of deployment goals, what were you thinking? I suppose it's pretty uh, straightforward for your knights, but um, I've but never had these little drops before. <laughs> <laughs> so it's worked Quite out. Easy. It's worked out nicely for us. We've got the four knights set up as so. 
Yeah, I've started my Paladin and um, Errant just near this objective number three over here, and my Crusader is actually standing on top of the second one in my deployment zone. Too. Okay. So, in terms of objectives on my side, we've got one which is just outside of the deployment zone here. I've had to hide my Dark Reapers behind here, so nothing should essentially have a line of sight of them, which means that I might actually be able to jump up and fire at least one round of shooting before they die. <laughs> um, I've got a Wave Serpent here with the Fire Dragons inside, with the obviously the uh, objective marker there. Got my Fire Prism there, got my two HQs hiding at the back there. Second objective marker, uh, and my Hemlock and my Wraith Knight in this corner. So you've got a very wide deployment. I have. I've, I've realised that with, with my arm, I'm going to have to try and play the mission as much as possible, uh, which means I'm going to have to try and really put pressure on all these objectives. Uh, but also, the reason why I spread so wide is because of this guy right here. Um, his flamer, him being able to move 14 inches and then have an 18 inch flamer, is absolutely vicious and I wanted to keep my Wraith Knight just outside of that. Um, the craft world that I'm running is an allied talk craft world, which means outside of 12 inches, I'll have a negative one to hit modifier. Brutal. So that should help me maybe Brutal. for the first round of shooting. Um, we'll see what happens from there. And you've already burned one CP. I have. Webway strike. Yeah, and I'm webway striking my Wraith Guard and I've also put in deep strike my Warp Spiders, and obviously my um, uh, Warwalker, war yep, Outflank yep. essentially. Alright, let's uh, roll for the first turn, I get plus one. You do, alrighty. Good luck. All four, so five, needing Mr. Eye of Sauron. Oh, don't do it to me. Oh, Ooh, equal. Let's draw. let's draw, let's try again. One, ah. so two, and he gets it. Alrighty, All right. so would you like to seize? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> the dice have changed. Dad. <laughs> and he's got the luck. All right, mate. Good luck. Beautiful. And let's see your first turn. Okay, so you've just finished up your movement. Uh, talk okay. us through what you've done. Uh, the Knight Errant's just shuffled up a little bit just to be on that objective and I'm about 24 inches away from the Wraith Knight so I'm just conscious about that moving forward next turn. Um, the Storm Spear Rocket Pod it will target the Flyer in the shooting phase um, and these two have sort of moved up the board. The Archeron, because he's got such fast movement, is kind of in threat range to make a charge here so we'll see yeah. how the shooting goes um, if too much gets decimated. Uh, he won't have anything to charge. If too little um, gets damaged, then he might have to attempt a big charge. Yep. Um, the Reapers are just out of range um, from the Archer run, so they're quite lucky <laughs> this turn. And I think the Crusader will target the Wave Serpent. So we'll come back with some of the critical shooting and see how it goes. Excellent. Okay, Adam, so you've just had your, I suppose, the start of your shooting. Uh, how'd you go? A late talk, a oh, fucking hard to hit. <laughs> really hard to hit. I'm hitting on fours with pretty much everything, um, which is not great. Uh, a lot of my shots, like, he's got that wave servant, which I'm really trying to target and take out. And look, you've taken, what, four wounds off him. With but pretty much all shooting. The paladin shot at him. Yep. The errant shot at him. Yep. The missiles went that way. Yep. And the crusader shot everything into him. And... Um, I've, I'm hitting on fours, generally wounding on threes, and um, he knocks down the damage of each each. That's one right. So by one. So you got a lot of three, like three damage kind of weapons get onto him. Two and then damage, maybe. maybe yeah, two, two damage, damage goes to one. Yeah. Um, and I managed to save a couple of the bigger, um, bigger damage dealers. Exactly. So uh, shit shooting phase, to be honest. Um, we've just got the archer on left. All right. Well, this guy automatically hits, so you don't have to worry about that. Well, I'll just see how many shots. It it is. Oh, yep. uh, so the flamer is going to target the wave serpent as well. Only five shots. Five shots. And to wound, let me just check how. Um, let me just check the strength. That's strength seven. So fours. Okay, so it's three. Three. And uh, ren two, two damage each. Ren two, two damage each. So there's three of them. Uh, needing fives. 
I've made one. Um, so those three damage goes to two damage each. Correct. And I can take spirit stones on all four of those damage. Needing sixes again. Uh, didn't save any, so it takes four damage. Okay, and he's also got a two heavy blast as well. Um, I'll just check if he's within 12. I think he is. He is, so he's hitting on threes. And, and he fives. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, so he takes off four, and he's down to five. So, but, you can still charge. Like, really shit shooting phase to begin with. However, I'm still going to rack up three points there. And I'm going to try and get the Archeron into combat with the Falcon. Uh, sorry, not the Falcon. Fire Prism. Fire Prism. Alrighty. So, what I might do is, just before that, I'm going to check to see if I get the double shots, if it's only during my shooting phase, or if it's also in Overwatch. So, I'll be right sure. back. Okay, so just checked it out. Now, the rule is if he's moved under half his movement during the movement phase, he gets to get double the shots in his next shooting phase. This isn't my shooting phase though, so I only get the single big hit. So, needing a six. Nope, and then he's got a shrieking cannon. Nothing. Uh, what is your charge range? We pre measured just before, I needed 10 to get into combat. 10 to get into yeah, combat, so alrighty. Massive charge, we'll see what we can do. Let's see it. Hey. Oh, that hurts. Ouch. That hurts. It hurts. Alrighty. Alright, let's see what happens in the, in the combat phase. Okay, combat time. Let's see what the Archeron does to this poor fire prison. Yep, let's do it. Okay, uh, he's hitting with the chain fist, so he's minus one to hit, so hitting on fours. Four, and they've all gone underneath, but they hit. Oh, four hit. That's not good. And now two's to wound. All right, all that's wounds. four wounds, Dan. Neg. Neg four, so you don't get a save, my friend. They all go through. And you need to take 24 spirit stone <laughs> saves. Watch this. <laughs> I'm gonna switch the camera over here for you. Yeah. All right, yeah, Dan <laughs> needs to pick up more all dice. Right. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. But for the folks playing at home, they will notice that Despite the fire prism probably going down here, vengeance will be seeked by the fire dragons in the transport, I as well so. as the dark reapers. As well as the wraith guard, as well as the war right, Dan, go for as it, well mate. as the hemlock. Go for it. Alrighty, so six up saves. Come on, I have Sauron. We've done this before. Maybe you, need, you need 13 sixes here. Yeah? Let's do it. Uh no, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough. Not enough. The Dark Lord Sauron can't save you this game. <laughs> Alright. All right. Does it blow, my friend? Does it blow? No. No, it does not. But so, first blood goes to the knight. And this knight, Archeron, will... Consol consolidate. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to attack into back. Into the Wave Serpent. I'm going to attack with my Wave Serpent here. Go for it. T3 attacks. Ooh. Oh, cheeky. Cheeky. Three attacks. Nothing. Wow. Wow. Alrighty. Well, look, you got rid of something, and I'm happy that it's that out of everything, to be honest. So. Alright, so just in terms of points, Dan? Yep. That one right up there is contested, so I can't raise it just no. yet. Not However, yet. one, two, three, three. Plus first blood. Extra points plus first blood puts so the knights on four. four. So a solid start. Good start. Really but good start. we'll see what the old art can do in their Let's turn see. one. <laughs> Welcome back guys. This is the end of the Eldar movement phase. Dan, talk us through what you've done, big boy. All right, so essentially, I've literally just had to corner this guy because that flamer is absolutely brutal and you, will wipe me if I don't kill him. You've triangulated on the archer on, haven't you? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, this guy's literally just moved back an inch to get out of combat just to contest that objective in case I don't actually kill him. Yep. Um, I've got my Dark Reapers moved out a bit in order to shoot him. Um, my Fire Dragons disembarked into cover up there. Uh, War Spiders came down. My War Walker uh, essentially outflanked onto the objective to capture that. Spirit Seer moved up to be within three inches of that. And my Wraith Guard. Um, came down as well, all ready to 
attempt to kill this big fella. So my psychic phase is going to have to be pretty interesting here. Um, my spirits is not going to be able to do much because he does only have conceal or reveal. And it's only really good if you're at long range. And at the moment, you're in my face. So he might just have to put up, uh, probably just smite to get some extra wins off him. Yeah. Um, apart from that, alright, let's get on to the psychic phase. Alright, let's see what Dan can do in the psychic phase. Welcome to the beardy power plays of the Eldar psychic phase. <laughs> Dan, what happened, mate? So, I managed to get a couple of good powers off. I was lucky I had to use Runes of the Farce here to get Guide off. Um, it failed the first time, I managed to get them off on my Wraith Guard. Yep. So they're rolling their hits, and their weapons profiles are strength 10. I made a mistake before, not strength yep. 12, they're strength 10 weapons. Um, I managed to get Doom off on the big guy, which yep. means that all wound rolls from anywhere on my, any one of my units Firing at it gets a reroll. Yep. Which is great. He's also being jinxed by the hemlock, which means it's neg one to all his saving throws. Because I know your cheeky little stratagem is to give you the plus one invol. Plus one invol, correct. That's a four up invol. So at least it's However, with the stratagem, it's now a five up invol. That's right. With what? But it looks like this guy's going down this turn. But he needs to. Yep. He needs to. So hopefully I can at least kill him. And then went to the storm next turn. <laughs> All right, we'll be back so in the shooting phase. <laughs> D-Day has come for the Archeron. <laughs> the Reapers shot into the Archeron, did nine damage collectively like three, yeah. uh, with the crack style missiles, correct? Yes, yeah, essentially correct, yeah. Yep, yeah. um, the Warwalker then stripped another two wounds off it, I believe, with the Bright Lance. Yep. Uh, the Warp Spiders shot and did five wounds. So yes. the Archeron has taken 16 wounds so far. Dan, what's left to shoot at the Archeron? So I've still got my Fire Dragons, I've got my Wraith Guard, and I've got my Hemlock. All right, mate, which one are you going for first? Let's go with, uh, let's go with these guys first. Yep. So the Exarch gets three rolls of one um, for his range weapon. So hitting on threes. Like it's a one. Yep, hits. And then the rest of them. Hitting on threes. And all of these. So, four hits all Four up. hits. And needing fours. Whoops. Destroying terrain in the meantime. Um, needing fours, re rolling because of doom. Okay, two have successfully wounded with a re roll. Just two. Just two. Two, two five, wounds. Two five up involves. All right, they are five up involves because I used my um, stratagem there for one command point. So I need two big fives here because these are double dice damage. Oh, oh would you look at that? Oh, That's yo, yo, exactly yo, yo. what the Imperial Knights needed. <laughs> okay, Alrighty. the fire dragons shot to no avail. Dan, what's next? Wraith guard. Wraith guard. <laughs> <laughs> you don't sound very confident, mate. <laughs> They get to where all hits. Wraith, guard. Okay, these are the, um, what, are, what are they called? What are the weapons called again? Uh, the Wraith They're cannon. not Wraith Cannons. I was what about to say Deets, D-Scythes. <laughs> yes, wraith, wraith Cannons is correct. I think that's yeah. right, yeah. Okay, four okay. hit. The four hits. Strength 10, so needing threes. Correct. They're rolling though. Lucky. Doom is a blessing. Makes them all. Okay, so that's four. So five up in balls. Can you do and what's again? the damage on these, mate? Uh, these are D6. D6 each? Yes. Wow. Like a melt but a bit better. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, and... How much damage? Oh, jeez. Oh, I just want to see, you could always CP that one. Couldn't I you? could, I could CP it right now with a command point reroll. And you know what? I'm feeling lucky, so I will. Command point reroll. Hey. Oh, it's the four. Okay, so I've used two <laughs> command points so far. How many damage does that do, Dan? Please be six. Oh, oh two more damage, mate. It's not enough, is it? I might even have to re-roll that one. All right, Dan's going for a command re-roll now. <laughs> That's better. Five, very respectable. How many have you got left? He has, uh, so he's taken, what, there, 15, 21. He's got six wounds left. Oh, so the hemlock can do, can do it. 2d3 shots. Oh, that's not good. Uh oh. Three shots. Auto hit. Do they auto hit? They're like a flamer. Oh. So, strength 12. Yep. Threes. Threes to wound. Rerolling. All wound. Okay. 
Five pin bowls. And the damage on these? Two a pop. Two a pop, so you could go down. Could I go need down. to save one of these. Yes. <laughs> so statistics say I should save one here. There no, it I is. Two. There it is, folks. Okay, so there's two. the two damage there. So he's got four left on the archer on. He has weathered a brutality of storms. I've literally fired everything. How many's got left? Two. Four. Uh, four wounds left. Four wounds left. And um, <laughs> anything else to shoot, Dan? I can try the. What's his What's name? What's the fast you got? A, like a pistol. Pistol. <laughs> he could try and save him. He's on dire. He's on dire straits. <laughs> oh, he's. Gonna, <laughs> Yeah, he's going to saving Private Ryan, yeah. that walking tank. He might, he might get one. Ready? Watch this. Oh, no, he's got a Sing Spear. Actually, oh, I've never actually used this one. Sing Spear. So, strength 9. D3 damage. All right, mate. Let's do it. Hitting on twos. That's a four. I'm painting as a four. <laughs> it was a four. Um, strength 9, so threes. Oh. All right. No neg. So three no up. No neg, just a three up save. Uh, Makes sense. Another six. Loves it. And the spirit seal has not much. He's just got the devil horns <laughs> right there at the moment. He's a Ronnie James Dio fan. <laughs> Where is he? Spirit is that the end of the shooting phase, Dan? Almost. Shuriken pistol. All right, one pistol. <laughs> Hits. Yep. Six. No. <laughs> Go. Uh, that's my shooting. What do you think, mate? Are you gonna charge the fucker? I'm gonna have to. Oh! oh no, I can't. Because he's a flamer. <laughs> oh, I nearly sucked him in. I nearly sucked him in, big oh. time. Oh. But he's gonna auto hit anyway. Next turn, you auto hit whoever you want, you want anyway. Well, that's true. But I've got nothing to charge with. Well, this is the Wraith Guard. Uh. We'll come back. We'll have a think and we'll come back, yeah. guys. Alright. Dan's had a good long think. What's the decision, mate? It's been about 15 minutes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to charge. No, uh, thank God for that. You'll be, mad, you'll be a madman too. Alright, so how many points did you secure that turn, Dan? One. One from the War Walker. Two. Two from the Spirit Seed. Oh, that's contested. And contested right there. So two points. Place four. Place four. Alright, nice nice turn two next. Here we go. All right, so we're on to the end of the movement phase for the knights. Uh, talk us through what you ended up doing here, Adam. Okay, well, the Archeron's gonna stay put. Um, he will probably use his flame cannon to kill some Wraith Guard because he'll be killing them out right there. And then subsequently charge the Wave Serpent, hopefully destroy it, and then raise that objective for D3 points. Power play, power play time. It is, it is, it is power play time. Um, he also gets the opportunity to uh, heal a wound back on a five plus thanks to his blessed auto simulacra. Right. So we'll see if that happens first. No, does not. So he's still got four wounds remaining. Uh, my warlord and Eren moved towards the Wraith Knight over there to go tackle him. They have moved away from objectives. However, they are going to um, uh, hopefully take care of that threat uh, this turn. I think they'll be fine. And my Crusader has stayed on home base there to at least guarantee me one objective point this turn. So we'll see how the shooting phase goes and we'll be back soon. All right, All right Adam, so absolutely brutal shooting phase. It, it was, it was. The Knights really turned it up that phase and it was a really good shooting phase. So over here, what happened? Um, this Storm Spear rocket pod uh, took uh, two or three wounds off the uh, off the flyer, and then shot everything else into the, the non-existent flyer, by the way, which we'll get exactly, to in a second. No, 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 no <laughs> uh, then shot everything else into the wraith knight. The paladin also shot everything else into the wraith knight, and they managed to do eighteen wounds between them, which was big. Uh, sixteen wounds. Oh, sorry, sixteen. Yeah, wounds. yeah. So we've yeah. got eight left. Big, big regardless. Yeah. Um, uh, the crusader over here. Split its fire, battle cannon heavy stubber went over there and managed to do three wounds against the walker. Yep. And the Gatling cannon and um, Icarus auto cannon ended up shooting the flyer out yeah. of the sky. And no more hemlock. Okay, the Archeron has nominated to split his fire. He shot the heavy bolter over at the um, uh, war walker to try yep. and finish him off. However, he needed sixes to hit. Yeah, because he's out of that twelve-inch threshold. And he's, he's his last. Uh, late he's, and he's in his last kind of bracket, isn't he? He's in his yeah. He's in his last. Yeah. His last bracket of efficacy. 
Um, and it's just a 2d6 flaming hits against the Wraith Guard. Oh, so let's nothing. see what happens. You're all snake eyes. Oh, close. I like that. Do you know what? I'm going to use a command point on one. Well, how many you got left? Um, I used two last turn. So I've got two left. I'm going to use one again. All right, here we go. There we go. That's what I like to see. I don't like <laughs> Okay, well. Toughness on a Wraith Knight. Wraith Guard oh, is sorry, Wraith T6 guard. now. Okay, so threes. Okay, just the three wounds there, Dan. Three, and they go straight to the neg, what? Neg two, aren't they? Neg two, three damage. All right, so, and there's three of them? Yep. All right, so uh, neg two, so hitting five ups, and these will kill them outright otherwise. Hey, only one dies. That's Very good. That's worked out well. All righty. All right, so not as good as we, we would have wanted, but I have to say the rest of the shooting phase was pretty impressive. Very impressive. So uh, let's skip to combat, and we'll see what damage we can do. All right, so, um, major charges. I did. The Archon actually copped two damage on Overwatch. On, um, on Overwatch there. I was very lucky that he didn't get blown up by the Cheeky Brightlands. Cheeky, oh, Cheeky oh, Brightlands. On the way, on the way <laughs> so, that was a fucking close one. <laughs> However, on the other side of the board, when it's looking more favorable, um, we've got my Paladin Warlord here. He's got the Warlord trait for plus one attack. And he's got the um, the relic combat weapon, uh, which makes him strength 16. So he's uh, so he's got five attacks now, and means he wounds the wraith knight on a two. It's brutal. All right, so let's see how he does. He, he, um, he hits on threes. Oh, I need you two hit. Two hit. Are these straight six damage? They are straight six damage. Oh. Two wound there, Dan. All right. Needing fives. Follow up involved, let's do it. Oh. Ah. Jump, 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 jump. All right, next guy. Oh, wait, my good sir. There is a reason why I did not use my CPs before to actually re-roll that too. Tell me, good sir. I will be attacking next with my Wraith Knight. Well, he thinks he's clever, but we shall see. So. For this one, I might even switch this one around. Done. I did my little jiggle because I saved it and I get to attack. All right, so. Dan's looking confident. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very good roll. And I will be attacking the one who wasn't attacked yet. For the errand. Oh, actually. Now I'll try to get rid of your warlord. All right. It's going to annoy me more. All right. Option action and How many wounds is it? 24 each. 24 each. Uh, some, I've got a wound with all of them to kill him. Let's, let's risk it, let's risk it. So you're going for the Warlord? Nah, not for the other guy. All right, where's the okay, attack? Okay, right. okay, the area. So, four attacks, I'm pretty sure, let me double check. Four attacks. It's hitting on fours right. though, because he's degraded. Yep. Watch me stuff this down. Uh, <laughs> and you'll be laughing. Oh, one. Oh, one hit. So he's uh, not going to kill him. Not going to kill him. Uh, so Praise the Omnissiah. He's, it's, um... Six to, uh, 16, yeah, so you, I wound you on twos. Correct. Strength 16. Yes. All Neg right. Four, so you get six All right, up. just a big uh, five up, mate. Oh, five up? Five up on nine. No, oh, six damage. Oh, I've rolled four, okay. He's taken six damage. Well, I got to use him. That's what I'm happy with. <laughs> All right, yeah, you got to use him. All right, Dan, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my attacks now so you nice. take the camera back. <laughs> I got no more CPs anymore, but it was worth a try. Four attacks from the errant now. Hits twice. Could have done a little bit Same, there. so needing twos as well? No, threes for him. Yep. One. All right, just the one. Needing a five up, can I do it again? Let's see. Yes, I can. I have Sauron. Okay, so just put that in perspective. <laughs> Two knights, <laughs> fully healthy on the charge. Take on and degraded. Yep. Uh, a Wraith Knight and Bounce. That's right. That's how it works. That's that's eighth edition for you. <laughs> that's, that's, that's good. Hey, you that's... saved pretty well that first turn. And right. I just happened to save well that turn. Now it's just a big boy to go. Um, and I think I would be wise to attack with the feet, considering I'm hitting on five. <laughs> stoppy, stoppy. Alrighty, let's see it. Ten, seven, okay. Twelve attacks here, hitting on five. 
three. Three hit there. It's is uh, D3 damage a pot? D3 damage, right? Oh, and I still got my serpent shields, because I didn't use them. Okay. Ooh, two wounds there. Two wounds. What's the strength of it? Uh, Dan, I can tell you now, the strength is eight. So, two Ren, wounds. Ren two, mate. Ren two. So, need five ups first. Don't worry, guys. I've got this. It's on camera. Oh, almost. I got one. So he's not gonna die. So he's not gonna die, which is how, absolutely shit for me. How much How much damage though? Three damage. Three, so I got my spirit stones still. Let's see if I can make any of these. Nope. So he's down to two, but he survives. Wow. All right, there you go. That Three was... Turn for the elder. It was an interesting turn, wasn't it? Yeah, so points wise, just the one. Just the one. So you're on five and I'm on two at the moment. Yep. All right, elder, turn two. Daniel Sun, All right. talk us through your turn two movement. So, now that last turn actually went a little bit better than I thought it was going to, I've got a few more options now. I've moved the warp spiders to here to capture that objective. Yep. The spirit seal will stay here to capture that. I've advanced these guys, yep. and with the salt weapons, obviously they can still hit, they're just hitting on fours. Correct. But they get to the re-rolls because of um, the spirit seer. Oh, no, no. I have to use a strategy for that, never mind. You need to use the guide. <laughs> guide I can use though. Um, then I've got, I left my war walker there. Yep. Dark rivers have moved up to get full side of the battlefield. Um, wave serpent's in range, fast is in range, so I should be able to kill this guy just with some smites, or even serpent shield. Two wounds left. Okay, um, and apart from that, these guys have moved up. Just in case, for some whatever reason, I snuff my smites and everything else, they're still in range of this guy, but they're approaching the other target there as well. Okay. So let's see what happens in my psychic phase. Great. All right, Dan, another successful psychic phase. Yep. So I managed to get guide off my Dark Reapers. Easy. I was toying up between casting on them or casting on these guys. They're only hitting on fours, which means I can't reroll the threes. Yeah. Because uh, of the way that modifiers work. Uh, plus, these guys have got. I suppose, more set damage. So it's more reliable damage being three a pop. Yep. Um, I've, then I cast Smite on this guy from the Spirit Seer and only rolled a one. One, so he's, he's, he's left on one. Damage. He's left on one. And, right. and the poor Warlord has been doomed. Yes, he has. Which is probably the most heinous psychic power in the game. <laughs> It's pretty handy. <laughs> All right, uh, Dan, your shooting phase is next. We'll be back with the important stuff. No worries. All right. So, so far, I've fired my Wraith Guard. I just... only managed one hit. One hit, which did, I think, three damage. Or two uh, damage. No, no, no. I saved that. With oh, you saved that one? Yeah. Yeah, you made a lot of saves this turn. Thankfully. Uh, um, Praise be to the Omnus. Actually, no, it was the, it was the Star Cannons from the Wraith, uh, Wraith Knight that actually did, did some damage. Yeah, three did, damage. did three damage to him. Um, these guys, the, the did next spiders, three damage. Did another, other three damage. Um, then the Bright Lancers got saved. The, the Bright Lancers here got saved. So now all that's left to fire are my Dark Reapers, and he's taken six, so he's got 18 left. Correct. So I need some serious rolling here. I can reroll hits and wounds, though. You feeling mm. lucky, punk? Yeah. I think he's going to die here. Fuck. I feel, I'm feeling good. All right, Two, let's go. Four, six, eight, nine. All right, rear rolling hits. Just the two misses. Oh, one miss. All right. Now needing fours. Strength eight. Rear rolling. Four. Oh, two, four, six. That's 18 damage. Two, That's all four, I need. Six. Okay, <laughs> I need ups. some big, big, big five ups here. And I think I might use my last stratagem. Yep. And make him a four up in bomb. Cool. Oh, it takes oh, nine. It takes three, so nine damage on the Warlord. But it is not enough. He still has nine wounds left, Dan. So hopefully in combat, my Wraith Knight can take him out. Well, he fell back, so he can't charge. Of course he can. Titanic. All right, so... so. Can, can charge, just overwatched. Um, got a couple of hits, but no wounds. Um, let's see what happens here. Let's do his attacks, mate. Four right, attacks. Four let's attacks. Go. Hitting on fours. Two, Two hits. Two hit. Respectable. And wounding on twos. Yep. Rerolling. 
Oh, give me another yes. dot. All right, so it's two important invulnerable saves that I need to make. I need to make at least one of these for him to survive. Mm. Big roll. Oh. oh! Is that straight six damage? Straight six. Okay. Does he have the invul save? Is that only against shooting? Only against shooting, so uh, it's five up there. So straight six. So how much did he take last time? So he's taken nine, six... So he's got three wounds left. So he's... He's got three wounds left. Yes. All right, he's attacked back just quickly now because you don't have anything else to attack, Dan. Um, I might charge in. Oh, I can't charge then. No. Okay, so um, instead of attacking with the feet, I will use my Relic Chainsaw. He's got uh, plus one attack yep. again, so uh, needing fives. Two hit there. Mm. That's important. Okay, and two plus. Okay, that's two wounds, Dan. Oh. Dan, can you, can you do as you did last turn, where you rolled two successful and vulnerable saves on these important dice? Eyes of Sauron, coming up. Yeah! <laughs> All right, guys. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get these dice checked later on, um, <laughs> and I'm feeling absolutely filthy. <laughs> He's made every save so far. <laughs> yeah. Okay. A bit of bullshit like there has kept the wraith knight oh. in the game. So but now the Imper there. imperial knights look like they're pushing shit uphill this turn. Uh, well, sorry, the next turn. Well, the thing is though, you can still fall back and shoot. Yeah, that's true. That's true. How many points did you get, Dan? One, two, three. Four. Four. Okay, so sorry. six, uh, six. Sorry, five play. plays five. No, I'm six now. Oh, there you go. Four, two, five plays play six. Ten. Okay. All right, that was sorry. a great turn for Eldar and a shit turn for the Knights. So the Knights need to turn up the heat now. It's getting tough. All right, Adam, your movement for turn three. Yeah, yeah, look, it's a bit of a confident play I'm going for here. Um, I didn't really want to retreat my Knight back here um, only because. It would give me a good chance to shoot the um, shoot the Wraith Knight, however, um, I think the, Wraith, the the Dark Reapers might get my number at the end there. So, um, really trying to work my way up the board there and kind of clear off some of Dan's units so I can then gain a little bit of board control back. Yep. Um, so, the, as you can see, the Crusader's moved up there. He's going to attempt to... Um, uh, he's going to attempt to shoot probably all these units here and then charge the walker um, to, to end up on that objective. Yep. Hopefully um, I can destroy the wave serpent as well because it's been the absolute bane of my game <laughs> so far. Uh, along with the wraith knight which I'm going to target with all my firepower over here too um, and then make some subsequent charges into the units. So we'll see how it goes. All right, let's see what happens in your shooting. All right, Adam, so, so far you've shot the two knights at my dreaded Wraith Knight, and how have you gone? Uh, average. You took off how many I'd wounds? Say, I, I've only taken off six wounds. Six um, wounds, we've got two left. You made some good saves, I think. I, did, I, I saved the big, it's the big stuff, the melt, the melter gun. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, which which probably should have really put him down. I mean, like I can't put this guy down. It's crazy. Um, so it's really made me think about my target priority for charging here now. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Um, and, and just the Crusader to go. Yep. And what will you be firing at? Okay, so the, um, um, what's it called? An Icarus Auto Cannon is going to target the Wave Serpent. Yep. Um, the Battle Cannon and um, Stubber is going to target the uh, Reapers. Yep. And the Gatling Cannon and the Heavy Flamer is going to target the um, fire, uh, fire Dragons. Just up in the fire Dragons, Fire Warriors. Yeah. I'm playing <laughs> Tower. Right. So against the Wave so, Serpent, so Nick um, one to hit, but plus one to hit. Is that right? Correct, yeah, so hitting off threes. That's a that's not a great roll. So Wave Serpent leaves another turn. I, I'm telling you, it's the bane of my game. I don't, <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know what I could be doing. Uh. Um, besides changing my dice again. I just need a, a good set of dice that won't betray me. Because uh, he's on two wounds, isn't he? He's on two I'm wounds. I want to back down, actually. So I forgot to okay, so attacks against the Dark Reapers. I've got the Battle Cannon, which does eight shots. Eight shots, so neg one to hit, and they don't get cover in there? Uh, I'll just check the range. Just out, I think. Yeah, B stick out, so, force to hit there. Force to hit. Four hit. And two stick. 
Okay. Wounds. Three wounds there, Dan. They're in two. So needing five ups. Or is, he co is that cover or not counting as cover? Yeah. You're in cover. In cover. So needing uh, four ups. Makes one. Okay, so one dies. The stubber now. Hits once. Needing a three. Uh, doesn't wound. And against the um, fire dragon. Twelve shot. The Gatling cannon. That wasn't great. Nope. And twos. Okay, uh, two, four, five saves at ring two. Ring two, so four ups. Oh, makes two. So three die. Okay, and a heavy flamer. Six hits. Six hits, nice. Eating threes. Okay, so that's four more saves. Four more saves. Uh, neg one, isn't it? Correct. So three ups. Oh, okay. two more dead. So I've taken five wounds in total. Yep. So I'm going to be killing my main guy for two wounds. Yep. And then three others. Ah, uh, they're two damage. They're, oh, they? sorry. Yeah. So um, we probably should have worked that out at the start. The Gatling cannon's two damage. Oh, it is. Okay. So how many was that? Three wounds of the Gatling cannon. Uh, yeah, three dead with the Gatling cannon, and then another two. Wo uh, sorry, another two dead from the um, uh, heavy flame. Okay, so four die. Alrighty. Sorry guys, oh, there goes that poor turret again. Okay, so there's one fire dragon left. Yeah, that's it, and uh, we'll work out some charges and come back. No worries. Dan's been, Dan's been going pretty damn good on Overwatch so far during my charge phase. We're just filming out a sequence here. He's managed to do two, two damage on the, um, on the charging Crusader with the Bright Lance of the Warwalker. He's managed to do six damage off these dirty Wraith Guard <laughs> over here. And my Warlord, who's charging the Warp Spiders, um, uh, only has three wounds left, so we decided to film it just in case he dies. All right, here we go. Six is like can all the wounds. You can zoom, he's still on him. Can't do much about that. Doom's nope. just doomed. Oh, I know. Actually, no, they were guided. All right, here we go. Oh, a few sixes there. All right, can I kill him here? Will he die, die to Warp Spider Overwatch? Needing, oh, this, this is the third time. It's a possibility. <laughs> All right, needing fives to strength six. Yeah. Six is a neg four. Okay, but re-rolling. Because of doom. Because of doom. Here we go. Oh, only two. Okay, so, so he will at, live. One however, at involve, one at normal. All right, involve save. No. No, and a regular save. Yes. Makes it. So okay, it's two. So, down to two wounds now. Okay, well, we'll be back with some combat attacks soon. All right, so over here, you've managed to charge and successfully kill my Warwalker. Good riddance. Good riddance, so now you're on the objective, so you're at least claiming that one. And you're gonna put some pressure on my Dark Reapers next turn. Well, this is true. Over here, you made a big charge into the Warp Spiders, yep. which obviously you guys saw, and ready to attack them. Now, I'm pretty sure, no, never mind. It's only in shooting for the neg one. Yes, that's correct. So um, he's going to strike first, um, and he's got 15 attacks with his stomp. So uh, I'm just going to roll these and then pick up an extra three for roll. So five to hit. Okay, picking up an extra three for the 15 attacks. Okay, not too bad. Okay. Pretty Decent. Good. Pretty good. Two, four, six, seven hit there, and two's the wound. Six wounds of the Warp Spiders there, Dan. Six wounds. And they are uh, minus two. So Deep five ups. Here we go. Makes two, two of them, so, so four, four go four through. I'm going to have to do these individually, because I might, depending on what it is, take it on my Exarch. Okay, first one. Two. Two damage. So just one guy dies. Next guy. One. Uh, nah, so I'll keep killing these guys. You're gonna keep killing go Yeah, killing kill those ones. Alright, leave the eggs arc alive. Yep, so what was All it? Right. How many in total? Three. Uh, no, four. Four guys die. Okay, not bad. Kind of respectable over there. Okay, going over to the One next second. knight now. Um, against the Wraith Guard. I could use my chainsaw. Um, I do think that I'll get some more value out of. Stompy stompies. So hit on three.
three six. Are winning on three. Okay, five there, mate. Five. And Nick two, so five ups again. Two, four, five, five ups. Let's do this. Does it makes one? Makes so one, four. Okay, so four. And their D three damage a pop. Correct. First one. Kills a guy. Kills a guy. Next one. One. One damage. Next one. Two damage. Kills the second guy. And the last one. One damage. Okay, so it's not too bad. Still got a couple of guys in. My damage counter on. So this guy is left on one. All right, do you want to hand the camera over here? We'll just right. see if you do any extra damage to Moi. So these guys piling in. Now the x arc is equipped with power blades. Sure. So he gets an extra attack. Which I believe, let me check it out, I think it's three attacks. Uh, yep, so three attacks. And he gets three roll his wounds. So hitting on threes, all hit. And because of Doom, still gets three roll wounds. So yep. strength three, so needing sixes. Sixes, mate. Here we go. Come on. Makes one. Makes one. Okay, and what's the end, mate? Need two. Alright, five up here. Oh. It's down to one. Four, down to one. And last two guys. Can I finish him off here with some warp spiders? Warp <laughs> spider luck. Makes one. One hit. Needing a six. Go for it. Re rolling. Ooh. It's a four. Yes! <laughs> no All need right. though. Three up. Alright, guys, this is really this is dangerous. <laughs> Oh. oh, makes sense. Okay. He's left on one. Okay, and the Wraith Guard over there, what do they got? One attack each? Yep. One hit? Yep. And nothing. Nothing there. Okay, so some morale tests needed, Dan. Yes. Up here okay, first. Over here you lost five. five. Okay, Delicious. the leadership's seven without the eggs arc. We're good. Okay. Um Okay. These guys lost over here they lost four. four. Leadership okay, eight. Leadership eight. So you lose eight. a guy. Lose a guy. And the Wraith Guard lost two. What's their leadership? Eight, I'm pretty sure. Generally, Wraith Guard are pretty tough. Leadership nine. Leadership so, nine. Okay, so you can't fail that. All right, so uh, in that turn, just the one point. One point, and it's equal. Again, so equal again. However, Dan still has a turn three to play. So let's find out how he okay. moves next. Turn three movement, Dan, give us your thoughts. All right, so Warp Spiders have just pulled back to go get on that objective to claim that. Uh, Wraith Knights moved up. Um, Wraith Guard have fallen back because they, they've got Implacable, which means they can fall back and still shoot with no negative modifier, which is so great. They're even better than Ultramarines. Yes. Um, in that regard. Spiritsy has moved up, so he's closer to him for a cheeky smite, but also I might get him to try and eat the Overwatch, <laughs> and I'd rather risk him than risk him. Okay. So we'll see okay. how we go. Okay. Fast, you stayed there, um, so he'll be able to cast Guide and Doom, mm -hmm. and little cheeky uh, Fire Dragon has just moved up there. Okay, he was pretty brave last turn. He was. So let's see what happens in the psyche phase. Sounds good. Lucky, lucky, lucky spells, Daniel. So. A couple cheeky shots here, managed to strip about what seemed like 50 fucking wounds off, off the thing, however... It was just off two guys, <laughs> it was just a little wave serpent. This little prick did five damage, and the wave serpent hitting on sixes yeah. did five damage. Yeah, yes, yeah, both did five. So, absolutely rude, absolutely <laughs> rude. Um, the warp spiders took the last wound. Yeah. Off him, uh, very, very luckily. Didn't, expo didn't explode. And he didn't explode. Uh, warlord for that. Um, I'm still yet to fire with these guys. I actually forgot to fire the Wraith Knight as well. And I haven't fired with the Dark Reapers yet either. So we'll start off with the Wraith Knight. Four shots into him. Yep. Hitting fives, because in his last profile. Three hit. Fuck you. <laughs> hitting fives. One wound. Need two. Five up here. There we go. Boom. All right, these guys. Oh, he's got Doom on him. How many wins did I get off just then? One. One, so I got two more that I can reroll. No. Um, these guys firing into him. Two hit. Needing threes. 
We're rolling. Yep. Involves. Two fire ups again. Oh! oh they're the dice that gold needs. Yes, yes. It's not what I need. Big though. time. So, I'm going to need to now. How many has got left? He's taken 15. So he's got nine left. Correct. All right. Like he's, he's got, they've got guide on him. Yep. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven only now. Six, seven. Three, is so rolling? Oh, hit. Four, is rolling? Oh, that's not good. That's not bad, though. Uh, you can't complain when you're five, shooting Dark Reapers. Five, make twos. There you go. Five ups. Takes nine. And does he blow? That means. No. No. Oh. So there you have it, guys. That's the brutality of the Eldar right there. Mate. Right there. It's like a combination Luxa. And you... <laughs> And you feel it the next day on the toilet, let me tell you. It's like when you get the laksa and it's mostly the chicken at the start, so you're really happy. But then at the end, it's just that bit of fish and you're just like... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and the, guys, the, guys, the, the guys on the Hype City channel know my passionate, passionate distaste for Eldar. Uh, and, and let me just tell you now, Dan, that the salt and rage <laughs> is, just, is just silently but deadly boiling under my skin so uh look the knights are on dire straits now guys one guy i could probably just play out objectives now unless you start wiping some stuff off and you might get lucky we shall see we shall, we see. shall see all right so your turn four yeah movement what have you cho chosen to do here i've gone i've gone for the same power play that i tried with the archer on and and was very 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 unlucky not to have achieved in turn two. I'm gonna absolutely murder the fuck out of that. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> uh, okay, and hopefully he can take down some of the surrounding units with him. Um, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna charge uh, something that's gonna be there. Um, so these guys have still a guide on them. Just remember that. Um, and and yeah, we'll see how we we'll see how things go. All right. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, you're fucking luck, cunt. <laughs> so we've got um. Excuse you've... my language, but that's how we speak. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got uh. You're trying to decide if you want to multi-charge here. Now, just a couple of things to keep in mind. You've taken ten wounds, so you're on fourteen left. Correct. Okay. My dark reapers get to reroll or hit rolls. They do. Um, and I'm pretty sure it is also for Overwatch. Um, I'll double check it, but um, it's a risk, isn't it? It's a risk, it's a risk. Let's look up the Dark Reaper stuff uh, and we'll come back because if Guide doesn't work in Overwatch, um, I'll declare a multi-charge um, right here uh, to hopefully obviously tie the Reapers up um, because they can't fall back and shoot, can they? No, they can't. Yeah. I was just expecting them to because that's what Eldar do. <laughs> um, and, and yeah, definitely kill that. <laughs> I have to I have to consider Dan's track track record of hitting on sixes with the bright lamp. <laughs> so it might be a little bit dangerous to charge both, but um, we'll have a think and we'll come back, guys. Alright, All right, we're back. I checked the rule and unfortunately I can. <laughs> Not unfortunately so, for me. So so the question is, do I want to charge both targets and guarantee myself a, a respite for the next turn from Dan's ranged weaponry or do I just charge the wave serpent uh, alone and be a chicken shit? It's your choice mate. I think I'm going to have to charge both in the spirit, oh. in the spirit of the game. Oh, alrighty. I said I was going to pull a power play and, and this is it. So please, please, please let me have it. Dan, pass the camera over here mate. <laughs> I'll roll your dice. Alrighty, so, Dark Reapers first, using the Strength A profile, obviously. Here we go, sixes, re-rolling. Good start, two hits. Oh. And re-rolling. Oh, only two. Two hits. So it's only six damage, okay. Okay. if I get it. Needing fours. Fours. Nothing, there you go. No wounds, oh, right. oh, my heart skipped a beat. Bright Lancers. <laughs> the danger weapon. Here we go. Oh, and shrinking cannon. 
One. Uh, one at the three. Okay. Oh, you say it. Okay. Okay, I can stop clenching my anus. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. All right, guys. This night's going to tear some shit up. Coming soon. All right, so combat. The wave serpent is finally gone. Praise the Omnisire. He's <laughs> dead. It lasted well, well, well longer than it should have. I can't, I can't, I just can't never seem to kill him. In every single game I play, I always struggle. But, you've, you've done some pretty good things this turn. But I've, I've done got, I've got, I've got no, I've got no more wolf spiders. As no, well. more, no more fruitcake. I've got no more fruitcake here. over there. You've made your charge, you've tied up my Dark Reapers now. And you're about to raise I gotta the objective. I've got to raise the fuck out of this objective. Watch this. Watch this, Pip. Watch this. A massive, massive, massive five or six. Oh, it's a oh. two. You know what? I'll take that. You take it. I'll take you that take it. for sure. So, uh, end uh, of your so turn. Two points at what? the end of my turn. Okay, Dan. Mm. What have you done? I've played ultra defensive this turn. Uh, these guys have fallen back. Just to claim an objective, I expect them to die next turn. Mm -hmm. These guys have tucked themselves away out of line of sight so you won't be able to shoot at them. And even if you move up to here, and you might be able to see the fast here, they're still the closer unit, so you won't be able to shoot at them either. Yes, and, and your fast here advanced with yes, his he's wings. Yes, felt his wing to get onto that objective. It's fast um, little prick. <laughs> now, uh, can See, this is the type of old art trickery that just doesn't fly with me. <laughs> Pun <Yeah>. intended. <laughs> So 36 inch round, I think I did not And yeah, and yeah, Spirit here has cracked his skirt and is and he's running away by the looks <laughs> of it. That's it. Um, Wraith Knight advanced, but uh but uh, is is way too far to capture that objective this turn. Yep. Um So you're gonna start some shooting Dan? The only thing I can shoot with is the star cannons. And, and what's no, the range? Can't. No, the advanced. Does it work the oh, advanced, the advanced, there you go. So I don't think I can. No shooting. Any combat? And no combat. So I'm essentially That's your turn. Sacrificing a turn to claim three more objectives. And it's a good sacrifice to pay. Yeah, I think so. It's so turn good five. Sacrifice to pay. Hopefully the last turn for my sake. Yep. Otherwise it could be a bit of trouble. Yep. Alright, talk us through your movement and into your shooting now. Alright, so guys, the idea is I'm gonna split my fire between the Dark Reapers and the big monster, that's pretty much all I can see. I can't see the Wraith Guard in the building, unfortunately. And no, I can't no. target the characters um, due to character target priority because they are the closest unit. That's it. So um, I'm gonna start with the firepower. I'm doing my Gatling Cannon into the Reapers as well as the Heavy Stopper. So right, here we go. Leg one to hit. Force to hit. I like it. I like Very it. Very good so roll. And two. It's two, four, six, eight saves on the Reapers, Dan. How, what's the neck? Neck two. Needing five ups. I'm dubious about this one. Makes two. So two, four, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's two damage a pop. Two damage a pop, mate. That's it. They're gone. All right. See, it's not that hard. Some nice breathing room there. Okay, here's where it gets big. Rapid fire battle cannon at the Wraith Knight. How many shots? Seven shots. Seven shots. Nice and average. Two, four, six, seven. Hitting Leg one. Fours. Okay, four. Above average, I can dig that. Needing threes. Uh, fours, right? Four, sorry. Just one. The one. That's um, enough. Let's double check that it is fours. Yes, it is fours. Fours. Neg two, mate. Neg two, and how much damage does this do? Neg three. Oh, all right. Needing a five up here. I've been lucky so far. Oh! No, okay. Anything but a one or a two. Hey. And he goes. No one's in range, so it doesn't matter if he blows up. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, this is heating up now. I've literally got four models. Four models on the table. I'm not going to kill you, but I just need to hope this ends at turn five. So 
So we'll see how things go. Um, we'll come back with a charge, a very, very big charge indeed. Yes. So you've made your charge. I have. I've made a big nine. So what so, happened is I've wheeled, I've wheeled my knight in within an inch and uh, he's going to be kicking down walls and all sorts of stuff with his titanic feet <laughs> against the wraith guard. So there's four wounds in total you've got to take off. Four Let's see what happens. Total, and he's got 12 attacks. Hitting on three. 12 attacks! Ooh! Not great. But the wounds is where it counts. Hitting threes. Okay, two, Dan, you've got two, six. four, six saves to make. All right. Neg two? Yep. Five ups. Makes one, a two. So. Um, uh, yeah, two. So four get through. Four get through, one at a time. First one. So one. he's dead. Yep. Oh, there's three more, isn't there? And, yeah. Yes, they're both dead. Okay, yeah, they're dead. Okay. Oh, va bene. Va bene. Va bene. And you know what? You get one. I'm gonna raise that fucker up. <laughs> Here we go. I need a big six. Oh, oh another two. Again, at least they're consistent. Yeah. So two VPs for me. And Dan, it's your last turn. You've got your two characters left on the board. That's it. Let's see what happens in this last turn. Hopefully last turn. <sighs> All right, Dan, it was a very precarious movement phase. I had to, I've literally looked at your line of sight thinking, where could I go to make sure that you can't see anything? So at the moment, you can't see my fast yet. At the moment. Okay. If he moves 12 inches this way, he should still not, he won't be able to see my fast here either. However, the knight is quite tall, my friend. It's tall, but I'm pretty sure I've blocked it off okay. Oh. If he goes 12 inches this way though, he's still not going to be able to, oh, we'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Is he within 18? He can't think? be that sneaky. He can't be that sneaky. Oh, I missed out. He's a late-talk, yeah. he's a late-talk friends have abandoned him. <laughs> They've been destroyed. Damn. Um, are you going to cast any smites, mate? It's out of range. Out of range, because you're running away. That's yep. the old old way. That's it. So that's my turn five. Okay. So, <laughs> bit of an anticlimactic ending. Yep. All right, does mate. the game continue? Yes, <laughs> I need it to continue. You do, you do. But it does. Ooh. What do you think? I think my fast will survive. I think I'm okay. Okay, I'm okay. Okay. So, okay. So, okay. There we go. We'll see. <laughs> Alright, so cheek, cheeky okay. Mr. Adam. Okay, we've crunched, we've crunched the numbers here and it is going to come down to the wire people. This is how it's going to play out, hopefully, for the Imperial Knight. Well, before, before you explain that, I was going to say, yes, he's right, he is rather tall, because as you can see, if I look through there, you can see the cheeky little farce here in the cheeky background. There he is. So, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, um... So, so... Now, apparently with the FAQ as well, with the characters, just to clarify. Correct. If you've only got characters left on the table... Or, or, for, or for whatever reason, a character or, or multiple characters are the closest models. Characters don't block uh, line, of, line of sight um, or target priority to, yep. to you. So you're free to shoot whatever character you place in that regard. So, what I'm going to do... I initially tossed up... And, and thought that yes, I'd get one objective point here and I'd get Slay the Warlord by annihilating the Farsian. But it'll only get me two victory points. And I'm currently four victory points behind Dan. So I need to wipe him here. So I need to split my And there's my a fire. very, very high possibility of that. I need to split my fire and and really it's the only thing that's gonna win me the game here. It's so so let's see if it happens, I guess. I can't really risk it going to turn seven, so well, it's dicey, but... <laughs> let's see. Alrighty. Daniel. Let's do it. Nominate your weapons. Good sir. The Gatling Cannon is going to shoot into the cheeky skirt wearing spirits here. <laughs> well, for one CP, he is going to activate prone <laughs> and be out of line of sight. So, eat a dick. Uh, <laughs> they love the prone. They <laughs> love, love the prone. Okay, so 12 Gatling shots. Everything else is going to shoot fast here. Alrighty, let's see what you do here. Be on fours. Getting on fours. Oh, wait, talk. Hey! Only a couple there. Just re-roll that one. That's a hit. And two's to wound. <laughs> and oh. Two, four, six, 
eight. And they do two damage a pop. Eight saves are two damage a pop, Dan. You four. need to make seven for us. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> so, can it be done, people? Let's see. Oh, got him. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. It's not a fairy tale ending for the knights. Just yet. Dan, you might need some dice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Alright, let's do it. Alright, I'm gonna fire off with the serious shit, which is the battle cannon. How many shots? Five. Five uh, only. Ten. But I'm hitting on threes because I'm within 12. Oh, oh I need two! Okay, and two's to wound. Alright, Dan, two four ups, mate. Come on. Oh, makes Ooh, one to take. Three damage. Only oh, one. No. Down a four. Down a four. <sighs> now, the Icarus um, auto cannons. They hit three times, needing twos to wound. Okay, so they're neg one, Dan. They do two damage a pop. So if you fail two of these, he's also dead. This could be it, guys. Four ups. This has been an absolute swinging <laughs> game of 40k. I, I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Let's see if I can hang in there against four knights. <laughs> Being some four ups. Makes oh. it! <laughs> he takes. Alright, All right, so he's, he's got two wounds left. Two wounds left. Comes down to this. Heavy Come stubber. On. Heavy stubber. <laughs> hit on threes. Two hits. Oh no. Wounding on threes. Oh, oh, Dan. Two four ups. Uh, oh, God, I'm, this is crazy. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm sweating. Oh, <laughs> needs to make at least one. What's going to happen? Come on. Oh, he's oh. dating. <laughs> he's on oh. one wound. One wound. No. Oh. And just for, just for your reference, the the heavy flamer is one inch out of range. <laughs> Jeez, alrighty. Well, you get one point. Well, I get my turn five. Do you know what? Let me just measure this up here. Nah. Nine and three will get me within an inch of the fast here. I'm going to go for a charge, mate. If you pull off a double six charge here, I'm not going to be happy. The nice deserve Shining spear. Singing spear, what's it called? That's the uh, one. <laughs> if you pull off a six here, Measure that properly. <laughs> oh. You don't like this shit, people. You only see this on Hype City Hype. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel. Like the shit out of this video. Tell all your friends. You're kidding me. You are kidding me. That's 12 inches. Mate. <laughs> Look at that. A big nine takes me to here. And I'm less than four away, which puts me within an inch. All right. I hope you snuff this. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, come uh, back. I need, I need a breath of fresh air. So I've, re I've got to record this bit earlier because he's just... He's, he's <laughs> that same Warhammer doesn't get intense, but it's like 50 degrees in the room oh. at the moment. And you're a bit flustered at the moment after the that bullshit the roll. The excitement is way too high here. If you pull this off, mate, I, I, for the sake of this game, I really hope that little pissy little farce here just goes, Fuck you! That would be the old uh, way, so let's see. All uh, right, nothing but twos and ones here. All right, mate. Good. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Only hit four times. Oh, all right, needing twos. twos. Oh! <laughs> Can I make two four-ups here? If I make this, guys, I hope you really, really share the shit out of this video. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Oh, yes. <laughs> He's got it. Ah, oh, Dan. Mate. What a game. That is... Oh. That is the best game of 8th edition I've ever played. <laughs> I'm dead serious. I can't believe that. That's... I'm dead serious. Wow. Guys, you only get this type of entertainment on Hive City. <laughs> like and subscribe. You know what to do. Alright, we'll be back shortly to talk about this fucking oh, game. God, I need a scotch. <laughs> Alright guys, I think we're all just... Oh. Uh...
a bit wrecked after that monumental game. That, the balance of that game swung more than a nine-year-old's nutsack. <laughs> a nine-year-old or a 90-year-old? I'm pretty sure I said nine-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I said nine-year-old. <laughs> Uh, there you have it, folks. Uh, there you have it. It's, it's only this sort of entertainment that you have uh, in your hobby. Oh, and we've enjoyed the game so much uh, that uh, we haven't chosen a worst performing unit in <laughs> this nah. game. We're, we're just all positive vibes right here. That was... I just can't believe that. Uh, that was... <laughs> oh. Absolutely. Ab- <laughs> absolutely. I know it's 136, but one in a million... Uh, uh, roll there to, to close the game like that and and uh, get a victory for the Imperial Knights under the direst of circumstances. I'll tell you what, it was a much closer game than I thought. Yeah, oh, it was. It was. Uh, it, like, like you mentioned before about how much it would swing, I, I thought, nah, this turn I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> but it would come back. That's the first turn, I saw what you did to my squad and how you could just tie everything up. You had your flame were there ready to go. Yeah. I'm like, nah, there's going to be a turn two table table in here and then t- turn two it ended up swinging again yep and then and I, just, and I thought oh I don't have a chance now the game's gone and then for probably the next two turns it was all Elder essentially it was they turned it up turned they it turned up. it up and and well like you did some massive massive uh, um, uh, plays there and, and <laughs> you know they, they involved uh, a, a full combination of stratagems the psychic phase was Absolutely crucial to oh, it needed to happen for more to your effectiveness. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, guide and doom, especially, uh, and and doom's doom's almost like accentuated because I've only got a few units to actually yeah. choose from. It's not like you're dooming one in every twelve units. Oh, exactly. Yeah, you're, you're, you're dooming one in four, yeah, one in you, three, depending on how many knights left on the board. Yeah. So and when you've got like something big like that, it's it does make it a lot easier. Yeah. Um, and to get that off every turn I've got God and Zoom off every turn which is yeah. really really lucky um, and it was essential for me to even be in the game because on paper when you saw these two lists you know people are watching it obviously at home as well saw these two lists come up against each other on paper you'd go what hope in hell would the elder have mm. but yeah they're just some crucial saves um, and it was just a fun game what can I say like, amazing <laughs> I, I, I said I said it during the game, but it, it, that was the best game of Eighth Edition Forty K I have played yet. It was very good. So I'm <laughs> I'm so wrapped that it was yeah. captured uh, live on the bat rest. And especially you captured that last dice roll. Yeah, oh, which was incredible, ridiculous, incredible. Dan, but, walk, walk us through your MVP. <laughs> so mine's a tie. Um, first one is going to go to the Dark Reaper squad. Just because Nasty. out of all my units, they consistently did the most damage. Yeah. Um, and you know, that's why they're huge in the meta at the moment. They're Absolutely. reliable. Reliable, consistent damage. Yeah. It's not variable, yeah. which makes it absolutely devastating. Definitely. And your pain in the ass, Mr. Wave Serpent. Yeah. <laughs> just if, if I, if, he just didn't die. If I could pick one elder unit to hate in the entire book, it'd be a Wave Serpent. <laughs> That's but, uh, just how it goes. <laughs> he did his job. He, he survived for four turns. I think he, it was. he tanked it. He <laughs> absolutely tanked it. Yeah. And as a result, I was able to get some uh, firepower back off yep. onto your knights afterwards. Yep. But they're going to be my two um, MVPs. Yeah, I've brought back the Knight Warden for <laughs> obvious reasons. I mean, when the game looked lost, yep. um, the, the Warden stepped up. Um, I was fortunate he, he's got double DACA uh, and and he did an amazing job of clearing out units uh, and, and late game just absolutely absolutely rolled definitely other. well as soon as he tied up my Dark Reapers I knew I had to play defensively which is why you st- started to see me pulling units back getting into position trying to get out of line of sight um, just to hope the game would end at turn 5 yeah which it didn't because yeah. I was while well up on, on um, victory points yeah um, and I just, if I had to survive that charge, I probably would have won it. <laughs> Them's the dice. You won't see, you it. won't see lucky that's dice it. like that from me for a very, very, <laughs> very long time. We've well, heard it here, folks. So we'll keep an eye on that. That's exactly right. So, guys, if you liked the video today, uh, make sure to like and subscribe to Hive City Hobby Channel. 
And uh, next week, most likely, uh, we'll be doing an in-depth review of the brand new Adeptus Custodes Codex with the Rust Stalker. Rust Stalker, so Russell will be big being. Yeah, big Russ, uh, which you guys <laughs> haven't met yet, but uh, yeah, he's he's licking his chops over the custodians, and so am I. I was going to say, you've been, you've been excited about these guys for quite some time. Oh, I've got a big golden chubby. <laughs> Does. Yeah. yeah, so uh, that's what's that's what's to look forward to on the channel. Um, and and look, if we can swing it, we'll get a couple of hobby guys on to talk about what they're doing as well um, with their with their with their armies and with their hobby. Um, there's a big tournament coming up called Arcanicon or Arc Forty K as it's known now, uh, and that's in late Feb. So a lot of the guys in the group are doing their armies and and frantically painting and finishing units and that sort of stuff. So yeah, it'd be great speaking. to get them on even just for a chat. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's it's a big event and everyone puts in a lot of preparation into it. So you'll get to see some really high quality armies. Yeah, um, absolutely. And you get to see how people have actually achieved what they've achieved. So that's it. And also, uh, you know, let us know your thoughts on the game or, or if you have any feedback, drop us a comment below too. Uh, we'd really appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, thanks again. Dan. Great game. Amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, thanks, guys, and we'll see you next time. See you, guys. Ciao.